Okay, hi everyone. Norwegian modeling band share and Kenneth here. Uh, so today I just want to to talk a bit about some of the preparations I'm doing for my enterprise build, so the CV6. And I don't know if you are aware, but you are able to buy extra um, devastators and also wildcats. So these are uh, the same types that you will get in the kit. Uh, so the, um, the clear uh, plastic parts and five of uh, each plane in in these uh, in these sets. So I have been uh, buying two uh, wildcat sets, so ten extra planes and one set of um, of the devastator so i couldn't find any of the dive bombers the dauntless uh, i'm not sure if they are available but um, at least this gives me the possibility of adding some more uh, planes to the to the deck and also in the hangar which i will uh, have a bit open so you can look inside to, to have some interest there. Uh, to add details to these, I have also ordered an extra set of, of this uh, deck plane set from KA Models. Um, I did show the content in my unboxing uh, of the KA detail set. This is an extra. So it's not a part of, uh, of that set. But in this one, uh, you will get uh, some extra uh, turned metal parts, also photo etch, um, and you will also then get, uh, if you can see this, you will also get uh, like the Jeep and, um, and uh, extra details that you can use to uh, create some scenes on uh, on the deck. So I think that will add some some interest Also, of course the extra detailing of the plane uh, Set itself so adding photo etch to the plastic parts of of these ones So I think that will be a um, good addition um so if we take a look inside, we have a resin part for um, for the uh, the wings, um, and um, then we have uh, torpedoes, and uh, I think it's five hundred and a thousand pound bombs that you can add. Then we have let's see here the canopies and um, tires and so on that you can then add to uh, to the um, to the aircrafts uh, also I didn't say that uh, a forklift um, so uh, that should be then you should be able to to give the impression of some uh, some uh, some things going on on the deck so to say then you have uh, these uh, steel um, photo edge parts which is uh, colored so you have the propellers uh, and the possibility then to to improve the um, the look of the planes same here where you have um, the uh, the um, the flaps it's it's really uh, uh, wind brakes uh, that the dive bombers are using uh, when they're diving down to drop their bombs and um, also inner details for the wing if you're going to to have it in uh, in a fold up state if, if you're going to have it unfolded of course it doesn't really matter that much yeah so here we have um, the instructions so here we have the the Devastator, um, so with the wings folded or unfolded, 
the dive bombers with the, with the wind brakes that I just talked about and also uh, then the torpedoes for the devastators um, and of course the bombs for the dauntless dive bombers. Um, then we have uh, these resin parts for for the uh, trolleys, so to say, and also then the forklift and the jeep. I'm not sure how many jeeps there were on board, but they used this to to tow the planes. Uh, so I would imagine at least one or two. Uh, I have to look into the details there, but uh, well, if you want to have two on board and there only was one, I, I don't think anyone will uh, give you a hard time nonetheless. And then of course, if you're adding um, some planes and so on, you surely need some people. and. I showed that the KA set had some uh, some people in it, but uh, they also sell um, crew sets on KA. Uh, so these are from from Tory Factory. Uh, so these are this is set B with crews and pilots in dynamical pose, hundred and fifty figures. Uh, I'm not sure if this is going to show well, but uh, there is a lot of different poses. Uh, some similar, of course. Uh, so spreading them around, creating some some interesting uh, scenarios or scenes on on the deck would uh, probably be quite nice. Uh, besides from that, they also have set A. So these are crews and pilots in um, in normal pose. Uh, so more or less standing straight. Um, yes. And it's actually quite nice in the way that they have made these. So you can separate them quite easily here and then uh, glue them to, uh, for example, a wooden stick, a popsicle stick or something like that. And uh, it will be quite easy to, um, to prime and paint. Okay, so that's it for this, um, this uh, video. Um, hopefully, uh, when I get started on this one, I will uh, be adding some videos if that is of interest. I am looking at uh, the hull details and I'm waiting also for a book uh, that hopefully will give me a bit more detail on um, on the plating. I've been trying to search for uh, historical uh, pictures of uh, the USS Enterprise um, to get a better idea. Uh, I will of course make a video if uh, if I get started on on the hull just to show what I'm thinking. Uh, but um, Trumpeter has not really made a big effort in in adding the details to the hull, so I guess some work needs to be done there to to make it a bit more realistic and and interesting to look at. But okay, that's it for me today. Uh, have a great uh, day. Uh, like and subscribe and, and give me any comments if, uh, if you would like to, to see me build, uh, build the CV6. Bye now.